Hello. Hi, my name's Rupert Degas, and I'm a voice actor on cartoons and animation and things. And I'm Dave Webster, co-founder of animation company Cheeky Little. And sometimes uh, David and I get together and we work on various projects and we work on voicing all these wonderful characters that Dave's company does. And today um, I've been given a chance to uh, attempt to breathe life into 14 characters that I've never seen. Um, I do get images of them and I got to do that in seven minutes. Yep, that's a challenge. Hope you're up for that, Rupert. Ooh. That's about, what, 30 seconds a character for a seven-minute piece? Yeah. So could I, uh, just to help me get into the, the world where these characters are, can you give me a clue as to what, where we are and what it's about? Sure. Well, the briefest of briefs is it's an adult comedy called The Farm. Yes. And the central character is Rhett the Rooster, who has moved from his free-range farm where life is great to a battery farm where life is not so good. All right, cool. Let's see what happens. Aha, we've got a, a big blue rooster. Looks kind of, oh, uh, looks kind of a little depressed. He's got these kind of eyelids that make him look a bit sad. Red Rogers could be a sort of southern luck. Here is, I'm a sole cockerel on a charming free range poultry farm with a thousand beautiful young chickens to attend to his every wanton whim. A kind of Matthew McConaughey. There we go. Well, I'm a smooth talking show, that's Bill Clinton. We don't want really, all the chickens around there. So cockerel, charming free range poultry farm with beautiful young chickens. Far out. Okay, so this is taking me, this is reminding me of a Zaphod Beeblebrox from Hitchhikers with the, the head. Or oh, uh, Richard E. Grant, how to get ahead in advertising when his boil um, you know, the boil turns into the thing, but it's a pig. Oh, he's glasses. Hey, one kind of all this. I'm a pig, you know. Yeah, right. Piggy two heads. Yeah. Oh, look at a deep throaty voice. It sounds threatening. Okay, boom, we're on now. Right, piggy two heads. Yeah, piggy two heads. He's the boss. He's got to be American, hasn't he? He looks like, you know, out of Sopranos or something. Yeah, piggy two heads is the boss at a pig cartel. I'm a tough, no nonsense brute on the outside, but extremely sensitive. I have a second head. Don't look at the head! The head is not for your eyes! Or uh, maybe cartel, maybe try more of a, um, maybe go a, a narcos kind of, you know, Pablo, you know, Pablo Escobar, maybe big it to has in the boss of the big cartel. I'm a tough, no nonsense brute on the outside, but extremely sensitive to my disability. Porque tengo un dosimos a cabeza. Le me las mata, eh, por qué no? Oh, doggies. Uh, rough looking, oh yeah, oh yeah, dogs. You've always got to be like, I think dogs, I mean, I would go always like, you know, lock stock, two smoking barrels, you know, big like guys, east end of London, they look rough. Oh, come here, sunshine. There's another dog, oh, he's dribbling. Mm. <laughs> Father is one of the guard dogs, maybe kind of Russell Crowe, an especially persuasive one. He's a Kelpie, with an, oh, he's a Kelpie, so it could be Aussie, yeah. Extra serving of button down crazy. He's partial to tearing his victims to shreds and keeping souvenirs. Truly terrifying. Mmm. Bone. <laughs> that that tongue and the, the there's a lot of liquid, so it's <laughs> a lot of, there'll be a lot of breath in there. <laughs> Frother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, me, he might he might because he's a duck, you know, you have that typical sort of duck voice, you know, with the beak, and yeah, not the sort of yeah. What's up, that kind of thing, you know, Bugs Bunny, but that, uh, you know, um... Right, maybe she's a Scottish, a wee Scottish lass. How about that? As far as the dogs are concerned, Daisy is a harmless duck, prepared to do whatever the dogs order. What they're completely unaware of is that Daisy is actually... I'm a fanatical revolutionary anarchist. All oh, right, OK. Plotting the total destruction of the farm and the system of oppression that it stands for. This is a bird with a cigarette. A little, maybe French, and then all kind of like that, maybe... El Fuego. Ah, Marlon Brando's Godfather. Okay, maybe El Fuego. Spanish. We go back to the Spanish. Marlon, Marlon Brando's Godfather. Uh, look, you come to my daughter's wedding, you insult my family. So, El Fuego is the now retired Godfather of the El Squido Cartel, formerly known as the El Fuego Cartel. El Fuego still basically controls the cartel. I'm thinking more of the smoking. And that's only because he regards his two sons as a pair of dimwits. Everyone is waiting for him to die. But El Fuego simply refuses to... Uh, uh, no, you're not lucky. Uh. Is that a, a rat or a wombat or a... It's a... 
It's a warm rat. Yeah, and maybe he's a very old man as well. So I would literally sell my dying grandmother's barely pulsing heart to the highest bidder. If I could make a quick buck or save my own ass, I'm extremely adept at pissing others off. Nice shoes don't match the fucking hat all of the time. Lucky I'm not to be dead in a ditch most days. Thinking of, you know, Marvin, the uh, the robot, and Hitchhiker's, another Hitchhiker's reference, where the robot was very, very depressed. All I do is open doors all the time, oh dear. Hey, Barry the Binch again. Who is Ivan Malat? He's just kind of a villain, a loyal member of the piggy cartel. On the surface, docile, softly spoken, compliant and intelligent. In fact, I'm a homicidal maniac with a tendency to random acts of violence and a high kill ratio. That's why the piggies want me on their side. Don't be fooled by my acquiescent eyes. Oh, it's a cat, and she's a girl. OK, um... Uh, mm, mm, stream bouts are craziness. Stream rapid fire! No one's particularly safe around my metal buggy! But I have two states of being! Extremely anxious and ready to fire are completely drunk out! You're never sure which way you're gonna get on any given day. So get out of my way! Uh, oh, it's a, it's a donkey. Um, ooh, he looks kind of quite... Uh, he's got that big, big mouth, full teeth. Big, big, big voice, obviously. There's a lot of resonance coming there and those stoned eyes, man. Oh, yeah, man. Um, arsewipe. <laughs> Hey, man, maybe he's like a California surfer dude, man. Like, oh, dude, man. I don't know, maybe the... Or maybe he might be like a surfer dude from Australia, you know, like, yeah, up the coast. Yeah, Crescent Heads, mate. Yeah, cool, great surf today. Yeah, mate, beyond my donkey ears. Arsewipe, got a quiet integrity. It's gone missing from my less civilised cohorts. I read books. Turkey baster. No, maybe not. That's too too annoying. Um, Turkey baster. Tur turkey baster, maybe, yeah, turkey, well, he gonna be from the south, maybe George W. Bush. Turkey baster's in with the El Squido cartel. <laughs> He's a shooter. He's sensitive. I love guns. I really love guns, and I'm really sensitive. And I love to shoot stuff, often. I shoot first, I ask questions later, like Dick Cheney. Oh, uh, is it a wombat? I, th I think that's a wombat. Um, unless it's just a very funny-looking guinea pig. Looks scared, looks quite, looks nervous. Maybe he has a high voice, because he looks really, looks really nervous. Neville, oh, Neville, oh, he is a guinea pig. Yeah, Neville, I think Neville's got to be from London, hasn't he? All right, or oh, he could be from up north. He'd be like, oh, no, Neville, I'm a very nervous guinea pig, I am. Oh, I need substances to calm me down. Uppers, downers, quaaludes, cannabis, cocaine, you name it. Just give it to us, anything, I don't mind. Um, oh, there we go, and that's the end, that's the end of the list. Thank you very much, uh, you've been a lovely audience.